and it was on going on this big grind got battery three and I'm going to show you how to uh, time stretch and uh, pitch change and just do a little different stuff to it um, the rules about time stretching is basically uh, it time stretch drums better than any other instrument because drums has like um, short you know striking sounds where strings or piano they sustain so it's harder to time stretch so there's a sample that I'm using and basically all my samples like if you want to be able to hold it down and then when you let off the key it'll stop playing you just turn your release all the way down and it's all the way up so when I press down and play when I let go it doesn't play anymore the time stretch is easy you come down here stretch And just turn up and down the speed. The simple as that. Or um, if it sometimes if you stretch it too far, it starts to sound funny. You just turn up the grain, which means it breaks up the sample into smaller pieces. But even then, really, really extreme time changes will make it sound funny. Um, another thing you could do is tracking, which make it go. Um, on multiple keys and it'll change the pitch but not the tempo as you're tracking and you just turn up to the another you know what key you want to put it on from C1 to C4 So you notice the pitch change, but not the speed, unless you change the speed here. Or you can do a pitch envelope, which you see the envelope. It so of course when the envelope is down, the pitch is down. When it's up, the pitch is up. Which I use this a lot, like if I want to use like a turntable effect, like if it's uh, want to sound like it's on a turntable and you're slowing down. You can do those effects. So those little cool things you could do. Um, but in general, that's how you time stretch and change the pitch. <laughs>